Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Over Universe's 3 Divine Wind Death and Taxes with your host Shenro currently playing as Bromania. In the last episode we took your advice on piecing out Persia because it made sense. We got to westernize a little earlier than I expected and we still got some nice land out of the deal so why not? Whatever. I wonder how long it'll be before we can uh, westernize our military. England declared war on Wales. They really want to form Great Britain, don't they? They're desperate. Stupid rebels. How's our economy doing? Making 126 ducats. Let's unfund it a little more. Eh, just unfund it all the way. Why not? England wants us to help them against Wales. Fine. Do we have a marriage? We do not. Okay. Oh, Hesse is the war leader. Interesting. I wonder if England's going to annex Hesse now. That'll be that'll be strange. And we have some revolters and gores. Oh, well, it sucks to be them. They spawned on our head. They're dead. The Ringia joined against us. Oh no, not the Ringia. Ooh, we have a colonist. Good, good. Stability's up. Next step will be end of the year. Okay. Kill them. Why would you take that route back? Going along the coast, you don't take attrition. Uh, what's going on now? The Hansa. More wars for the Hansa. Who could you possibly be at war with now, Hansa? You're at war with a bunch of small shit. What do you fucking do? You're toast. Oh, we're full of diplos. Uh, okay, what can we diplo do today? Let's just keep trying for marriages. Why not? It's worth it if they ever accept. Alright. Looks like the Hans are lost already. That was quick. What's all this? Support merchants, gain prestige, or support free trade. I don't care. We're going to do prestige. Ooh, 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 yeah. Nice. Nice. All this shit we took from the Mamluks is now core. See how bright green that is? Fucking cores. Hell yeah. And we're almost ready to do another, another settlement thingy, majiggy. Although I do want canals. Let's keep doing canals. We'll eventually do settlement policies again. Damn, you guys need to let go of this war with the Golden Horde. You're not doing anything. They're too far away to matter. Ooh, new idea. Culture accepted. Uh, al Marzir Arabic. Okay. But in the meantime, new fucking idea. I wish we could take this. More missionaries would be so nice. I don't want tolerance. I want missionaries. Maybe we should do Patron of the Arts. Just so we get some prestige. 
No, 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 we're doing this right here. Morale of armies plus one. Discipline goes up, everything. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Ooh, lovely. Lovely. So, since we have some army ideas already, it has been suggested that we start doing our sliders towards the naval. And then once we do that, we can start taking some naval ideas. And that sounds like it might be fun. We've never really done that before, except maybe in our Ireland campaign. We discovered some shit in Africa. That's nice. Oh, and look at this. We can see a part of North America. Alright, people. I know you guys have extremely good knowledge of North America. From this dot and this dot, what what are we looking at? Hmm? Tell me now. You have five seconds to tell me what we're looking at. I know what it is, because I cheated and I looked at this um, between the two recordings. So I don't want to give it away. But if you can guess, you'll get like five points. All right? And you can also see down here, Castile has Castilian South America. So that's probably a lot of wonderful territory on the northern Brazilian coast. Austria and Brandenburg, white peas. You're still at war with Burgundy, though. You're still at war with Muscovy, which you can't reach because you don't like the Teutons. They're still at war with Genoa. That shit just has never ended. Just some weird shit going on. People not giving up on wars, you know? What the fuck? Muscovy has invaded Norway. I mean, come on, just... Really? Is there any real reason? Whatever. See, England has Quest for the New World. Right there. We do not. Castile, Quest for the New World. We do not. France, they don't care. Burgundy, they don't care. But to get that, you have to have naval, like, plus two or plus three. And we're not even close to that. We're so far not close to that. Ah, oh, we're full of Diplos again. God damn it. All right, what can we do with these Diplos? No, you like us just fine. Oh yeah, we can demand annexation, 1516. Okay. Bohemia Sphere. Ugh. Let's just keep trying to marry. Why not? If it ever works, then it's awesome. Who's this? Hesse wants to piece us out. No, I can't do that. Sorry. England's almost done annexing Wales. Almost. They're going slowly for some reason. There we go. Just annex them. There you go. Alright, so they can now form Great Britain. High five. That will be a nice boost to their economy. Hey, hey, stability. Next one, end of next year. Well, middle of next year. Whatever. Our infamy is going down. Good, good. And now we'll see if England actually wants any more of mainland Europe. If they do, then this will be an interesting map. Yep. The hell? Castile? No, you're not allied. What are you doing up there? 
Oh, they're at war with SA for their own thing. Interesting. Strange that they would even bother doing Hesse's control over English lands, but whatever. Yeah, they just white pieced him out. And we're back up to five diplos again, so let's try marriage again. Nope. Oh, Castile's embargoing us. Why? Oh, goodness. What's wrong, Castile? Why are you mad? Lantech went up. Good, good. Can we vassalize you? You are small, and I can't even click on you. Oh, almost. There we go. Can we vassalize? No, let's royal marry. Now they rejected. That's twice you've rejected marriage. I mean, that's just not cool. The Pope joined war against us. Ooh, this is our chance to vassalize the Pope. Nah. We're not leader in this war, so it wouldn't work. Damn. There, we got our marriage with Byzantium. Maybe now we can vassalize them. Oh, oh yeah. It's now 1515. This is our 100th anniversary, people. High five. High five. Romania, Romania, 100 years. I don't think we have enough fireworks for that. We need to explode something huge. I don't know. Fuck it. Let's just keep playing. Whoa, I, I is getting destroyed by Ming. They're completely obliterated. I wonder what's going to happen because of that. Why won't you peace out? Whatever. Keep trying to marry. Damn. Maybe we should switch our advisors while we're doing our stability run. Anybody out there? Ooh, a level 5 stability guy. Yes, he's better than mine by quite a bit. Level 6, nice. What about you? The hell? Recruit advisor, what's he do? Colonist chance, no. Commandant, discipline, nah. Infamy reduction, nah. The rest of them suck. Traitor. Fort defense, no. Fuck. Well, at least there's some variety now. That's nice. Maybe we should get some uh, cultural tradition. And do something with our army while we can. Nah, fuck it. Fuck it. Effort? You know me and effort, man. Ah, oh, shit. Bohemia has been at war with Golden Horde long enough that our truce with the Golden Horde has worn off, and they're going to ask us to join the war again. It's been that long. That's just amazing. We could just go for reconquest of uh, Cherson. I mean, that's a lot of people to go to war with at the same time. 
but everyone would join us, so nah, we'll wait. It's nice we're killing all these rebels. Oh, stability's gone up. Excellent. Manpower's going back up quickly. What the hell? Maximum 182k? England just annexed Denmark. Why is our manpower maximum only 182k? Base value minus 50%. Why? I don't know. Huh. Oh, there we go. They got peace. So, what was the deal? I and I accept the peace. I will. They will see Dolly right here. One, two, three, four. Five. They took five provinces from Idhai and they made them spit out Taungu, which is three more. So Idhai got bitch slapped. Ming annexed Tianwan. Okay. Keep trying for those marriages. A general has died. No. Build some more canals, make some more dollars. I like dollars. I really like dollars. Ducats, gold, dollars, whatever you want to call it. I like money. All right. More canals. One more. annexed Trier. Interesting. Good job, Mainz, I guess. This looks like B uh, Burgundy's going to be elected again. got nothing to do until we get uh, some slider changes. Plus two. Alright, well we don't have to focus on it anymore. So we'll go even across the board like that. And, yeah, we're still losing inflation. Good, good. And we can do a settlement policy. Settlement policy. Oh, oh shit, I didn't even notice there were rebels here. Kill them. Herp -a derp Rebels. There. Uh, yeah, where to settle? Uh, cloth. Uh, let's do this one. It has wine. I like wine. Why can we not do settlement policy? Oh, because it doesn't border it. We'll do this one then. Yeah. Settlement policy. Bingo. Michelangelo. Michelangelo is considered by many to be one of the greatest living artists. What the hell? We have Michelangelo? Oh, well. Well, damn. Oh, we could have just used him to gain stability. Look at that shit. No, no, we'll be patient. We'll do the 10 prestige. Cool. Thank you, Michelangelo. I had Haya annexed Tibet. Wow, what a weird country you are, Ayataya. 
What else happened? Teutonic Order. Oh my god, Teutonic Order finally got peace with Genoa. It's amazing. So how long until they can form Great Britain? Do they have to have cores on everything? Oh, what the shit is happening now? You're at war with Naples and Ferrara. Over what? Excommunication war against Ferrara. Oh. Yay, production tech. I like tech. I like being Western tech group, that's for sure. converted Paphlagonia. Yes, good. So the only thing we have to convert now is all this shit we just took, but we don't have any missionaries and we're never going to get any more. That sucks. Teutonic Order has warned us. Why would you warn us? Do you have a core on my land? No. Ah, but you do have Unum Sanctum. <laughs> that means they can declare war on us just because we're not... We're in the same religious group and we're... Oh, excuse me. Unum Sanctum lets you declare war on people in your religious group. Because we're both Catholic, and we're not we're both, we're both Christian, but we're not the same actual religion. So that's probably what they're gonna do. See, they might accept vassalization. Cool. Well, why don't we annex these guys first? Why can't we annex you? Oh, because we're at war. Right. Canals. More canals. Ah, Muscovy won their war against Sweden. So Sweden is toast. I, I'm sorry to all the Swedish viewers out there, but all you have left is Stockholm and Bohuslan. Bohuslan, whatever. The rest of your country has been completely taken over by Castile. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Castile's a dick. Castilian South America. We'll be there one day, Castile. One day. In the meantime, rebels. More canals. Teutonic Order declared war on Muscovy. Who's going to come to their aid? You have no alliances, so nobody's going to come help Muscovy. Whoa, Persia declared war. Really? Second Persian Jihad. See? Oh, goodness. This is what I wanted to avoid. But what can you do? Fund our troops. Bring everybody to the front. Gores go to Aleppo. Zeta go to Chaldea. Constantinople go to Kartli. Larissa go to Cilicia. And that should be everyone. Look at this, they're just massing troops on our border. You motherfuckers. Has it really been five years already? I guess. We need to put a leader in this army as soon as possible. We need more leaders. Alright, 
Everyone's joining our side. That's good. Even England joined our side. So let's take a look at the world. That's our war. It's pretty much... We're just going to duke it out again, like we did last time. And Zaporozhi, whatever. And all these other little places that we don't really care about. Hedges, I mean, come on. When was, when was Hedges ever going to do anything against us, you know? Yemen, they're fucking landlocked, you know? Oh, goodness. And these jokers, Kashmir, whatever. Whatever. Not going to complain. Life goes on. Let's get up to Diyarbakir. Okay, they're going to attack me right here. So let's just stay put. Put in a nice general. And if they want to attack us, that's fine. We will come over here and help defend. Because that's a good place to defend, right? What's the terrain? Yeah, hills and mountains. So yeah, they're going to have a huge attacking penalty. And we're going to get the end of the month bonus as well, so we should get our morale up pretty high. They're still coming. They're coming with two armies. Look at this. Okay. I think I can safely swap out these generals over here and put them in armies that need them right now. Oh yeah, Budget. I forgot about Budget. Come to Imredia. Uh, yeah, that guy. This guy. Ooh, counting house. Cool. Alright, here they come. Wow, that's a lot of guys. Alright, let's see, what do they have? Wrong button. What do they have? Looking at about 275,000 guys, and then almost 20,000 cannons, so almost 300,000 troops. That is insane. Gonna arrive on the 20th of November. Okay. 8, 9, 20. Now we're gonna go help. We're actually gonna get delayed because we're gonna get attacked in Diyarbakir. Not good. Okay then. Let's go infiltrate their capital. Again. Failed. 91%. Come on. There you go. Yeah, all their troops are all spread out, but damn, do they have a lot. Negative six penalty. Nice. Oh yeah, we're slaughtering them. Nice. Ukraine is free. Oh, look at that. Hello, Ukraine. What's up, broskies? At war with Muscovy. You're, you're Catholic. Ew. Whatever. We'll just give you some access for now. Go away. You guys smell. Slaughter. And... Ah, oh, they have no penalty here. This could go bad for us. No, we have a good general. We'll see. This one's going to be tough. Ouch. Oh god, that hurts so bad. Oh god. Alright, we chased them off here. They're running to Bitless. This guy has shit maneuver. Whatever, just go help out these guys. They need it. Badly. Alright, we won. Good. That means we can stay, and he can stay. Ooh, God, that hurt. But we won, we won both those battles, which is the result we wanted. So, like it or not, Persia wants war. We made an effort to get peace with them, and uh, 
they're not interested in that idea of peace. They don't even understand it. They're like, what? No, we kill you now. It's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, we kill you now. Man, that hurts. When they don't have an attack penalty, that really fucking hurts. We need to get these guys to safety. We're going to go up to Chaldea. You can come down and defend the front line. Actually, let's defend Derzine. It's more mountainous, isn't it? Diyarbakir is 51% plains. Derzine is hills and plains. Yeah, yeah, so it's better to defend Derzine. Yeah, Derzine's the best spot. Well, Erzurum's better, but you get the idea. So like it or not, war is here. And look at that, we're out of time for this episode. And January 1st, 1517. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Let's throw another thingy up here in Crane Canal, Alania, Bithnia. Yeah, Bithnia. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed our time together today. Uh, please comment what you think we should be doing right now. I mean, uh, peace is not going to happen, so we're just going to have to hold on to the war for a little bit. Maybe now go for the Chobanids? What, what's the requirement now for the Chobanids? 81%. We'd have to essentially get a huge war score on them. But whatever. We don't have to do something like that. We could just white peace them out or something. You know, who knows what they'll accept. I don't know. Give me some comments, give me some suggestions. If you like this video, please hit the plus button, and if you want to see more of this bullshit, then subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the time together today. Join us next time for continued war with Persia, even though we said we didn't want it. We got it anyway. Bye-bye.